the show that I'm working on now is really what, what happened to that idea of, of a better world. One of the projections, you think about apocalypse, you know, that's a logical, the world will end. Another one is the world will be perfect. We seem to have ended up just with the one where it's just going to get worse and worse. All of the movies just show the world turning into different versions of the same apocalypse that Mary Shelley imagined, you know, 150 years ago. You know, like everyone's kind of gets really kind of excited about the end of the world. You know, it's like that's why we go to the movies, not because it's boring. But imagine a movie that was just touring around the ruins afterwards, like a sort of grand tour of Venice would be today. It's a totally different kind of feeling. You don't make movies about that. The sort of like the kind of elegiac beauty, the time after the exciting time. And I don't think it's a particularly healthy point of view to imagine oneself only trapped in a sort of one-way ticket to Armageddon. And I think it's more interesting to think about, well, of course there'll be a time after that. I mean, there was a time when the entire surface of the Earth was a volcanic state of magma. That could happen again. And then life happened after that, after the Earth was literally scoured clean of any living thing, just a few things living in abyssal trenches. Then everything we think of as life came back after that. So our little contribution to the apocalypse is really not... You know, it's like it's almost too prideful to imagine that we're going to be the ones to end it all. The apocalypse doesn't just bring, you know, the kind of fire and brimstone, but then it also brings the rebirth after that and then so forth and so on.